Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have understood how you can replace or how you can create a variable using the script basically within the test. So for example, getting the project ID, storing it in a, setting it in a collection variable and then using it in a JSON body when we are sending the create issue request. Okay, so we have done it for pro project ID. Let's quickly do it for the reporter and issue type as well. So what we are going to do, we are basically going to the, so basically what same thing we have did in the get projects, we'll do similar stuff in the get all issue types and get user assignable or get users. Okay, so let me quickly copy the same thing. We'll go to the other request here. Okay, and in the request, okay, so here we'll you will see that we need to have a project id and project id that we have the variable that we are creating is having i and d as capital right and that is where uh, that is why we are getting this error unresolved variable okay so if we go to the collection and we go to this collection you will see at the collection level if you want to pass the project id it has the variable name is project id with id as capital okay so we'll simply copy that in get all issue type we'll replace that project id with the correct one okay and now you'll see that it is resolved and we'll be able to fetch so if i just hover over you'll see the current value is being fetched from the collection right so this is a collection the project id is the collection and you this c that you see this basically shows the scope of where this particular variable is defined this c is the collection variable okay and you'll see the scope is collection so if the scope would be global you'll see a different icon here if it is environment you'll see a different icon we'll cover all of that okay so let me quickly go to the test here and copy the test whatever we have in this get project sorry and we're just copying it i will be changing it all of it here okay so basically response whatever response we'll be getting from this all issue type okay and then we want to store a particular issue type id okay so for example we want to create a task or a story so we'll store the id of that particular issue type that we want to create now what we are trying to create we are trying to create a story okay so first thing let me disable this one this statement okay and let's see what response is available so i'm not going to print everything there okay so i've removed because this was specific to the get project call okay so we are just printing the response in the console okay so let me open the console clear it and print everything so let's see what the response is so basically the response is just an array okay so if you see this response body here let me maximize it you will see that this square bracket that means everything is available within this response array and these are the different objects within that array okay and now each of this object is a particular issue type for example the name is there and the id is there now we have to check for the story where exactly the story is now this is not the best approach okay we'll be covering step by step this is the first thing that you need to understand how you are going to store now tomorrow say for example this task is at at index zero tomorrow it changes to index one or index two the approach that we are doing now is going to fail so what is the better approach in the next couple of videos once we do this whole thing, understand the flow in a basic form, then we'll enhance our learning to the advanced concept. Okay. So don't worry about those things at the moment. At the moment, we just need to understand how we are going to store that. Okay. So for example, this one is the story and the ID of the story is 10012. Okay. And if we see story is at number two, basically. So if we just see, close this, save, and let's go to the console, okay? So you'll see that at index number one, there is a subtask, okay? And then at index number two, there is a story, okay? So now we have to get the ID for the story if we have to create an issue type story. So what we'll do, we will basically go to the, we'll analyze this request here. So the first, at the first index is what it is, the task second index it is a subtask and third is basically a story so what changes we'll do we'll simply say in the response okay let's back here so the response will simply say number three okay so we'll say the response and then we just want to print what is at the third index okay so we'll simply change it to three and let's send the, that request and you'll see that what it is printed it is printed bug right basically if the item is at three then the index should be two, right? So that is why it has printed bug because actually the story was at two. So we'll say response and because response is in an array, so we'll just put the index of the object for which we want to fetch. So it is at two, okay? So we'll simply send it again, open the console and you'll see that we get the 
story there so now we get that object where we have the story id and now we'll simply say okay response to dot id okay why because the id of the story is stored as id lower cap right or smaller case so the best thing is to copy whatever attribute you have here so you make fewer mistakes there okay so now if i send this request it will print that particular id for the story now we know this is the id for the story now we can simply uncomment this and we'll say here instead of project id because this is the issue id that we want to create we'll simply name the variable as so we'll say pm dot collection variable dot set we are setting a variable through the script okay and then we'll say issue id and then in the response okay at the number two index we'll simply want the id of that particular okay so now if i save this and go to the collection okay so let me open the collection here and go to the variable there is no issue id at the moment right so you don't see any issue id okay only the project id so we'll simply go to the all issue types send it and then go to the collection again and you'll see issue id variable has been created and the value has been set okay so now in order to use this in our further request which is create issue we simply go to the create issue and in the body we replace this issue type which is which we are hard coding previously so if we had to create a story we, are, we were basically replacing the story id going to the response checking what is the id of the story and then replacing it here okay so now we'll simply replace that with issue id in double curly braces okay make sure that it is in double curly braces right so now it is basically resolved so now if i have to go ahead and create the story right so i don't have to look for the project because we know the project id will be fetched from the project where we want to create the story uh, uh, within which we want to create the story right which will getting will will be getting from the get project call will be getting the issue type from the all issue type call which will be stored into the variable issue id and then for the users we'll do the similar thing okay so for users will follow the same approach so let me copy the same thing the whole thing that we are getting here okay and then to get users and we'll get the user to whom we want to assign okay so we'll just paste everything there okay and comment this set part okay the user part at the moment so we can analyze the response okay so let's quickly analyze the response and these two statements we are just kind of analyzing right so console.log is more of printing on the console and seeing what exactly the response is so we can fetch the values out of it okay so i've sent this particular request and this is again an array okay so different users are present there so you will see that different users are there and say for example i pick any of the user okay so i'll pick the first user for example for her okay so i will simply go ahead and uh, this particular user is at the index zero okay so it's pretty easy so we'll simply say okay i want the id of the first user okay and the first user is at index zero okay and if we go to the user okay the first user what we are looking for we are looking for the account id it's not id it's account id for that particular user that we need to pass in into the request json body of create issue type right so we'll simply get the account id out of there okay so we'll simply say dot account id okay and now if i simply send this request you will see this is the account id that has been fetched now in order to store the this in a particular variable we'll simply say pm dot collection variables dot set and we'll say account id okay so let me give it a meaningful name and this is the account id for the user or you can simply say user id whatever name you're comfortable with okay whichever makes the best sense and the most sense we'll simply go ahead and change that okay and now this account id variable will be created the value of the user will be the account id of the user will be saved in this account id and we can use it in the next call okay so i'll save this now okay send it and if you go to the variables here you will see it should actually let me click go back okay this is set let me send it again and go to the console yep this is all good and let me open the collection variable again so you'll see account id has been set maybe that was that screen was already open that was not refreshed so that is why the account id was not shown here so now all three variables are so now what is the benefit so now when we have to go ahead and create the issue okay so we simply instead of hard coding these values here 
I'll simply in double curly braces, I'll simply say account ID. Okay, so now none of the IDs that are required in order to create an issue in a particular project, this project ID will be fetched from the first call okay from the first call which is get project the issue type will be fetched from the second call and will be stored in a variable issue id and user will be stored in the variable account id and when we are going to create an issue from uh, this fourth call which is post call we simply refer to those variable the collection variables that we have set with the reference of the variable name that we have provided okay so project id account id issue id right and then summary we'll just hard code okay so, so say for example now we'll simply say we'll rename this okay so you can see that this issue is being created on the ui okay so i'll say um jace json using variables in json body okay using variables in json body okay in postman okay so this will be the summary of that issue that will be created in jira okay so we should be able to see this particular issue got created now let me go ahead and quickly send this particular request let's go to the response and see this is the issue that got created successfully okay so this is how comfortable and easy it becomes right so now we don't have to basically go ahead and then do this get project call okay simply go ahead and get issue types call get users call okay and don't have to you know go back to the response and see what is the user id okay now at the moment it's kind of hard coded it's kind of we are fetching those account ids anyways and storing for a specific user but then we'll be writing more logic to find those account ids dynamically based on certain criteria okay but this is the first step so we don't have to copy manually and paste it in the create issue so automatically these things are getting identified in the response and stored in a variable now those variables we are going back into the create issue and we have refer reference to those okay and now we are simply what we only need to change is so for example we just we are just changing this summary okay rest everything is already referenced it's available and then simply sending this request and the issue gets created successfully we'll see new issue got created okay 141 if you go back to jira okay and let's go to the all issues this was the project in which we were we were trying to create right so we'll simply close this create window go to the software project close this and we will go to the issues to see that those two issues are actually present that we just created okay let's go to the switch list so you'll see first one was 140 which is using variables in json body and then we change it to the using variables in json body in postman right so these two issues how we created we created through this postman calls create issues and a basic understanding of using variables within the script this is baby step first steps to understand that automation journey okay now the next step will be to understand basically so if we go to these details right so now we are hard coding or we are trying to just create the issues in this particular project what if we want to create issues in all the projects okay so you'll see all of that will be basically covering in the upcoming video so further videos will be about say for example i want to have a certain criteria that i want to search a particular project if the project matches then store the project id okay i want to create a issue type task okay so i will provide a criteria task and i want to check that the, wherever the task is so tomorrow if say for example currently the story is at index number three okay for example in the array tomorrow it changes to seven this is going to this is again going to fail or it will create some other issue type you are trying to create story but it will create some other issue type so we have to put some certain logic there to check that yes it is at this particular index or wherever the the value story is pick the id for that okay so a lot more enhancement will be done for this particular whole flow but as of now this is the scenario that will be learning and going through and now because this is a practical this is a live example 
and this is what you will be actually doing in the project the level of complexity so you can really rely on whatever you are learning in this particular tutorial series this is easily you can replicate this is not a dummy application or something you can easily replicate this knowledge into your real time project which will be of which will be of similar or you know a little lower or more complex but yeah, the complexity is kind of similar level of complexity okay so that's all for uh, this video i'll see you in the next couple of videos with more examples around test automation thank you very much for watching